Hello, I'm Faith, and this is Faith and Books. Um, I'm sitting out on my porch because it turned out to be a nice day. It's actually kind of warm, kind of hot. Uh, it rained all night, and now it's just beautiful. It's a beautiful fall day. And I thought I would just do a little, um, little video on my, it looks pretty small here, a small collection of my St. Francis of Assisi books for children. I'm actually missing a couple. Uh, but the reason why I thought of this is that I just got them back from my, my church. Um, we were participating in the season of creation, which is a season that Pope Francis and other leaders, uh, it's an ecumenical movement, um, are promoting to raise awareness of the environment and why we need to be more responsible and take better care of creation, this beautiful gift that God has given us for life. So um, so I lent, um, we, we had a special lesson plan about St. Francis for the religious education kids, and I lent a bunch of my picture books that I collected to the kids, and I'm missing a couple, so hopefully I'll get those back. But I just thought I would show you them because I homeschooled for a long time, and I came to really appreciate picture books for learning and just for the beauty that they um, that they spread and the um, they're just a lovely way to be introduced to a topic and so very uh, engaging so this first one is I can't pronounce the author's name Richard E. Gilski something like that Gilski St. Francis and the Wolf. I've lost the jacket for this, but this is uh, this is a little bit more cartoonish, the artwork, but this is a retelling of the artist, of uh, St. Francis's, uh, the legend of the Wolf of Gubbio. And in that legend, if you're not familiar with it, uh, the town of Gubbio is being terrorized by this man-eating wolf. And uh, they call in St. Francis, there's the, there's the wolf taking someone away, um, they call in St. Francis and he goes out and talks to the wolf and tames him and uh, the townspeople thereafter uh, feed the wolf instead and I think the wolf protects them from other predators or something. Anyway, um, this guy sort of takes, you know, he spins, this is his own variation, he's got the town um, calling in all sorts of violent ways to deal with the problem, calling in various armies and that sort of thing. Here you go, they're, they're building weapons to fight the wolf, but it's not working. And they won't listen to St. Francis. And then finally, here's a, here's a nice one. And then finally they call in St. Francis and he goes out to meet the wolf. Okay big bad wolf and of course the wolf responds to his his love and message of peace there he is blessing the wolf uh, and so then the town befriends the wolf and I believe in the town of Gubbio which is a real town they actually have a statue of a, a wolf in their town square or whatever uh, the next book I want to show you is by Josephine Nobiso and she writes exquisite books about uh, for children about various topics, religious topics. Just beautiful, beautiful art. This is sort of reminiscent of Renaissance art. There's the wolf in the town. Um, just gorgeous, gorgeous. There's a, this is a story about St. Francis when he's a boy, and it's just one morning where the things that happen uh, prefigure other legends about him when he grows up. So here he is feeding the birds, and we know about his preaching to the birds. Um, and then it's just beautiful artwork. She's a gorgeous artist. Um, and then let's see, where's the. This really beautiful. Plays with the animals in the barn, in the stable. Um, there's a wolf hanging out, threatening him in his morning chores. Um, 
and he feeds it. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful book, beautiful illustrations. So that one's called Francis Woke Up Early. It's about when he's a little boy. Then I think my favorite out of all of them is this one, Brother Sun, Sister Moon, which is just, it, the artwork is just really so beautiful. It's really stunning. And it is a sort of a children's telling, here's the end page, um, of the poem, a poem that um, St. Francis is known for, the Canical Creatures, or Laudato Si, which is the, uh, the title of the um, encyclical that Pope Francis wrote. And so this is that, um, that song, that canticle he wrote, illustrated for children. It's just absolutely gorgeous illustrations. It says, uh, We come to sing a song of praise to you, O God, the Lord of heaven and earth, who by your power and out of your love have created all things and called them good. It's just absolutely gorgeous book. Just here it is, night, black and white. Just gorgeous. Let's see. Really, really lovely stuff. Here we go. We praise you for our brother fire whose strength warms our homes. Right? And whose resplendent dancing light we glimpse your playfulness. It's gorgeous. And this one is by Catherine Patterson, illustrated by Pamela Dalton. Just absolutely gorgeous. And then the last one is a new one that I got that I'm not really into this manga kind of stuff. I mean, I appreciate the artwork. It's sort of not, like, probably just too old to appreciate it. It's just, um, I, don't, I find it hard to follow because there's so little narrative and, um, here, I'm trying to find the one in St. Francis. Here we go. Um, it's hard for me to read the writing and then to figure out which one I read first <laughs> to follow along. Anyway, I appreciate that they're making saint books like this. Because I do think kids nowadays are more visual because they're just surrounded by visual stuff like YouTube videos. Um, and so I appreciate that they're doing this because I think manga books, um, you know, graphic novels are a big thing and I think that would appeal to a certain age group and the art is you know really good so anyway so that's um that's a collaborative effort it's called the Saints Chronicles I have a couple more but they forgot to give them back to me but anyway I just thought I'd share with you my love for beautiful children's pictures books especially when they're about such a beautiful subject so I hope you have a good rest of the day and I'll talk to you later bye-bye